Hey, so fam, Amelia Adair here. I hope you are feeling good and doing good. No, excuse me. I hope you are feeling great and doing great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. And we hiking and healing today, day 17. <laughs> For those that are new to the channel, we welcome you. On this channel, we hike. We heal. We don't always hike, but we got a hike and heal segment this time. But we heal and we grow and we work on being better versions of ourselves. <laughs> than we was yesterday. And you know I got a great topic for you always. We got a nice hike today. Look at this mountain. It's all fam. This is so beautiful. And we out here nice and early. The bees is on seldom so we can get through some things. All right. And we are going to get into a great, great topic per usual. And you know I always got something special for you for at the end of the video. All right, so fam, the sun is trying to come up, so it does look a little, yeah, a little, a little dark. But we're gonna work, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna make it work. Hey, we're gonna make it work, so fam, and we're gonna hike a hill, and we're gonna speak about some things. All right, today we're going to discuss. We're gonna get into discernment, okay? And we're gonna get into intuition, and we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get right because one it feels great to know what's happening around you and it feels great to know that you are making a great choice all right so fam they got the sun coming through good morning sun let's see if you can see it there it is it's peeking over the himalayas hey right on time we on time so fam Whew. So we're gonna we're gonna discuss this, so fam, because there are a lot at, at this at this day and age, there are a lot of um, people aware of their spiritual path, okay, of some sort. All right, everyone has a different version, you know. Everyone has a different perspective, which is fine, you know. We all look different, so it's it's going to be evident that we're going to see things a little differently or a lot differently. And in this time, we just have to keep a, keep an open mind, all right? I'm not saying believe everything. I'm just saying hear, hear it out, you know? Just put a little ear to it and see. Don't be so closed off to information, all right? Right away, right away. Now, as we just, as, that's not really what we talk about, but as we speak on today's topic, so fam, we are going to, let me just address this, all right? I'm going to speak on the adversary. I'm going to say the word adversary, and I know it's different from many of you, but moral of the story, it's a negative force holding you back, all right? In any type of spiritual growth, people are going to speak on this negative force that is there to hold you back. All right, meaning Christians, they say, you know, the D word, I don't know if we can say it. And we in the world, where the trial went? Oh, it's over here. And um, negativity, negative force, you know, there's so many terms for it, but overall it's something that's against you from getting to your goal. All right, Sophie, ooh. Yeeksy, yeeksy. I don't know if y'all can hear the bees like I hear it or if I'm just hearing things. But we're going to keep it moving. This sun is out. I'm so excited. Because I was hiking a little bit and um, there was no sun. So I was just like, well, we're going to make it work. All right. So, man. Oh, yeah, it is a bee. They out now. But um, anyway, so, man. One thing you got to understand is. One thing you have to understand is when you when you become aware of that of that spiritual path that you're on and you start doing things in a more positive light Woo! so fam am I, I think they really just be they, they be trying to be in a video at this point because i walked for a good 10 minutes i didn't hear not one beat anywho Excuse us, so fam. Whew. Anywho, so understand, so fam, that when you start walking in a more positive light, negativity 
just be really working double time. Morning. Good morning. Be really working double time to slow you down. Okay? And we're not going to get into the what's with what's, but just understand that is the most challenging part for those trying to, you know, continue to walk on that path because it's having that discernment to know, okay, is this God ordained or is this a distraction? All right. It's going to be one of the two. More of the story. Hey. Hello. So, this look intense. These steps are, ooh, hey, we might just stand up here and get the word. Maybe the bees will leave us alone. Look at this over here. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. It's like a natural looking step. Now let's walk up here and see if we could be on bee watch. So I could really get this message out because it's really great. And I don't want no distractions myself. Oh, and make sure you hiking and healing, so fam. Let's roll. All right, yeah. This, ooh, this look nice and secluded. Oh, and calm. I like to be in nature. Let me get a sip of this water. All right, so fam. Let me show you. Thanks for holding. You're so great. So yeah, the sun is coming in right here. There's these nice steps. These rocks look so well placed. I'm trying to hike up there a little bit, but we're gonna take a break right here. So listen, so fam. Listen, or try. When you are walking on a spiritual path, there are gonna be there are going to be, there, there, there is going to be a negative force trying to slow you down, all right? And for some reason, it feels like that negative force is working double time when, you know, it sees God is really working on your life. So one great way to really have that discernment and one way to really have that discernment is building that relationship with God where you understand how God communicates with you, all right? God may communicate with you a lot differently than he may do with Jimmy down the street, all right? Because God knows your understanding. God knows what you pay attention to a lot more, okay? So... If it's fruitful, God is going to use it. So one great way to really have that discernment when it's time to make a choice and go into that next direction is being extremely patient. All right. And asking like, God, show me how you want me to go into this next step and being patient to see it, not searching for it. Sometimes we're just searching and searching and searching and we overlook. It's like if you it's like when you're looking for your keys. When you lose your keys and you be searching, it's like you never find it. As soon as you just leave the keys alone, they just show up. You know, it's that calm mind. So, understand, so fam, that you want to be extremely patient and calm and say, God, if this is for me, show me in a way that I will understand, okay? And being patient after loss. A lot of times we looking for a sign and we looking for a clue. And the problem is we just looking. You know? We just looking and looking. And listen. Save your time and energy, so fam. Don't be looking. Don't be looking. Because you're going to stumble across something that might not be for you. Also, so fam, when we start in new relationships, like friendships or whatever, it's like we be looking for their flaws. So fam, you will find it. Stop looking for flaws in people and understand that every, every person you meet, oh, I dropped my top. Every person you meet has the, ooh, hold on, I heard swiper. Let me. <laughs> Let me migrate this way. 
every person you meet, so fam, has the, oh, this flower's on top of the cactus with these bees. I know I was hearing them. I didn't know the top of the cactus had flowers. And so fam, so any person you meet technically has a choice to lie and do you wrong, right? So if I, for instance, say I meet a person, right? And we're kicking off and we're having a conversation and you may have some unhealed wounds that's like, wow, this person is being nice or being kind. They might want to try to hurt me or stop me later on. You know, those thoughts are going to flow through your head when it's happened to you before, right? So one thing you have to understand is when you're meeting this person and you, and you crack the door, right? You crack the door for a relationship, right? So fam, understand that don't be so negative moving forward. You know, so after you leave the presence, after you leave the scenery, be simple and be like, all right, I know this person has the ability to do me wrong, but I'm gonna think positive. All right. And I know positive things are going to happen. And so that's what you want to be feeding, because if you sit around and you think about, wow, this person might be trying to get at me and da -da -da, eventually they will. If you if you soak your mind on that for so long, eventually, yeah, everyone you meet will do that because that's what your focus is on. So you want to take your focus off of that and start to understand, like, yeah, even though this person has a, the ability to do something wrong to me they also have the ability to do right by me and that's what you want to be focusing on good morning ladies good morning. take your time be careful you guys look great <laughs> don't worry you're not on camera <laughs> although you're all photo ready <laughs> have a great day you thank you so yeah so fam you just want to have that light space in you moving forward and understand like you know I'm not gonna focus on that negative stuff because if you noticed of course you know someone can do something negative but be more positive moving forward and try it give it a try try it out the next person you meet go to a nice event the next person you meet, be positive with it. Now, if this person exudes that negative vibe or that negative energy, then kindly keep it moving, you know? But don't, don't meditate on it. You know, sometimes we, we really want to... We're so used to negative things happening that we just kind of be waiting for it to happen again. Don't wait for it. No worries. Morning. Morning. Whew, that smell good. Anywho, so fam. Yeah. So that might be what, that, that might be the you know, the top of the mountain everybody going to. But we're gonna go this way because they up there. Huh? Ooh. So another thing, so fam, with discernment and knowing a choice more of like not really friendships and relationships but moving into a new direction meaning like maybe you're trying to shift or make a transition in in your career we're gonna say career all right that could be that could be you know anything that falls under that career window you know it could be um, a brand it could be uh, artistry you know anything that falls under that little avenue trying to figure out okay which way should I go? So off the top, so fair, we, we are gifted. You know, we have, we have some great choices. You know, we're great at doing this. We're great at doing that. And sometimes we want to do it all, all at the same time. So being able to choose which way to go first. Listen, so fam. When it comes, now this is where it gets, this way it get a little tricky because we may really love doing this and love doing that and trying to really see which one will be a better choice is where a lot of people stay stagnant, you know, or they be doing both and it can get hard to try to get two things off at the same time because the, the workload can be 
intense. It could be intimidating. So one great way to really know, okay, I should be doing this or this is a great thing for me to do is, ooh, excuse me, fall out of the bees. When you, when you do that task, right, give them, give them both a week, okay? So say you want to, let's use two different examples. Say you're great at cooking and you're great at painting, okay? Now this could be anything, so fam, so pay attention. Say you're great at cooking and you're great at painting. And you're ready to really take these take this brand to the next level, but you don't you can't choose. It's like I'm good at this, I'm great at this. <laughs> One great technique that can help you decide is take one week and focus on one. So take one week, focus on cooking. All right? Focus on cooking, focus on cooking. One full week, just cooking. Well, this is great right here. Take one great week and focus on cooking. At the end of that week, document how you're feeling. Document how, document any ideas that may come to you. And document what people people report back to you about this you know cooking then you want to do the same thing with painting okay now of course again this could be anything these are just two examples do the same thing with painting now at the end right so one week cooking one week painting then the next week rest okay next week don't do nothing just, just be chill. Just be chill. Just relax. Just calm down. Just take a load off. You just worked for two weeks, you know. And on the, on, on the fourth week, make, make a note. Which one made me feel less drained? Okay, so fam, which one made me feel more happy about the day? Which one made people feel more warmed, warmth? You know, like people will be, people will give you a response like, wow, this painting is beautiful. When I looked at it, I felt like this. Wow, this meal is so amazing. When I ate it, I couldn't stop eating. Things of that sort. Morning. So you want to, hold on. You want to take your time. This is, this is vital. Okay. These three, two, three. It's four weeks. Let's say it. Let's, let's two to four weeks are vital because one, you're going to be making a choice that's going to lead you years and years to come. And also, so fam, when you get to fourth week, fourth week, week four, excuse me, you're making this choice and you say, hmm, while I was doing this, you know, I felt, I felt great. You know, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with cooking, right? So say by fourth week you choose cooking and you make this choice so fam, understand you can always go back and change that choice later. Don't put so much pressure on this choice as if you're gonna fail because you didn't pick one or the other. Alright? Oftentimes we think we might be making a wrong choice and we think we can't change our mind later. Keep in the back of your mind that if, if you do pick cooking and it doesn't go where you want it to go, you can change your mind later. But you have to make a choice at some point, okay? Definitely if you don't have a big team and you're trying to do all these businesses on yourself, you kind of like, you, you, you stretching yourself too thin, all right? It's, it's not enough time for one person to be doing three, four jobs at a time, okay? It's, it's, it's just unrealistic. And you don't have to be putting yourself through that stress because God may be trying to bless your brand, but you got, you, he know that you got but so much space to operate with this amount of income, meaning people coming in, rather you starting a new brand, or rather you going into a new job, okay? Maybe you want to do a new job. Same thing, so fam. A great way to, you know, choose a great job, go into that place, go into that atmosphere, okay? They don't have to know you applying right away. Go into that, go into that place and talk to the people. Just talk, hey, how are you? How's everything? See if those are the type of people you want to be around. 
I think oftentimes we, we choose these careers, right? Because the income is where it's supposed to be. But we never take 10 minutes, take a little school trip into that environment. Let me see if this is the type of environment I could thrive with. Let me go see what type of people they hire. And uh, are they similar to me? Are they going to drain me or lift me up? Hoy. You know? Sometimes we're making a choice based on a check. Sometimes we're making a choice based on a check, but we don't do a wellness check. Hey, is this place great for my well-being? Am I great for these people's well-being? Okay? Come on, soul fam. Whoo! That's a word. So these are things that we have to put into account when we're making choices to help us make better choices. Is this environment something I want to wake up and come to? Okay? Because after a while, that check be looking real. You be like, Ooh, it's just a check. You know? How many burgers could you eat? It's like, I'm not doing this. Sometimes we, we, we put up with too much to gain. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, is it worth draining out your spirit is it worth draining out your soul is it is it worth it you know we have to look at the real value in things and start to really really think about it because when you look 10 years down did you did you grow or did things start moving real slow and it's, it's vital that we are in these thriving environments. Definitely now, we see how short time is. We see how much the days is, you know? So take your time, so fam. Let's take a minute. Let's hike right here. On this, this mountain. Look at this. This is so beautiful. What's that? Is that a bridge? We're going to have fun over here, so fam. This is, this is just gorgeous. This is amazing. Whoo! All right, so fam. So that's two. You know, I got three for you. We're gonna catch our breath. Let me get some water, so fam. Hold on. Check out the view. Morning. So, yeah, so fam. Ooh. feel great get out there go to the gym whatever you gotta do let's get it moving <laughs> so another thing so fam Intuition. I said we was going to talk about intuition. We're going to get into that. Oh, when these flies leave us, leave us be. Hey, back up. Come on, soul fam. Intuition. Okay. Let's just break it down. Let's make sure we have the same understanding of the word. That's number one. So intuition basically is... You know, you get a little a gut feeling. You know, my gut told me to check here. You know, you get that little, that little, that little nudge. You know what I'm saying? You get a little, get a little intuition. It's important to heal if you are intuitive because you don't want things jeopardizing your intuition okay so your intuition can be 100 percent correct which most of the time it is right but if you have a little unhealed wound whispering to you it can go against what your intuition is saying and cause a war oh hey oh come on so fam and so 
this is where the battle begins because one, you trying to go somewhere, right? You, 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 you trying to grow. Now you trying, you growing, you elevating, you healing, and you meeting new people, all right? Meeting these new people are vital because you both can be an answer to a problem you both can have, right? So when you meet someone, right, they're healing and you're healing. You may have crossed some avenues that they didn't cross yet and vice versa. Now, if intuition gives you a good speck on them, right? Intuition gives you a good inspect on them. And if you're not healed, right, you can start having these negative thoughts and feeding these negative thoughts and pushing this person away and putting negative things on this person. That could be such a blessing to you. And vice versa, this could be happening to you, you know? So understand so, fam. That if you have that intuition and you hear it and you know it and you know for sure who is my intuition, then there's no reason to be negative. There's no reason to start to feel like this person is coming against you. All right? We'll hear our intuition and we're not healing. And we'll be continuously in this same, not, not elevating, you know, staying on the same level. Because every time this person comes across our path, maybe in different flesh, we push them away. And a conversation is needed between you two to help you, to help lift this spirit up. Okay? We, these, these conversations that we have with people, you know, not to say regular people, but you know what I'm saying? Like, just just a normal conversation somebody you may see in passing at the Starbucks or wherever you at. This small conversation can heal up 10 years worth of, worth of wounds. Imagine that power. Y'all know God, God, we have one day which is a thousand days in God's year, something like that. Y'all know how that saying go. So God could be trying to position you and, and heal up these, these 10 years of wounds. And every time you get into this person, you ain't healing that little situation that happened to you. And so you blocking people off and you pushing people away. And so you stay in this, this, this guarded block space and you can never really push yourself and really you know go to, to to avenues that god is trying to bring you because of that one or two negative whispers unhealed wounds that that is that's going against what your intuition is telling you i hope i didn't lose some of you i know this is this this part is not for everyone and that's okay but listen When, when you experience traumatic experiences, it's not a joke, okay? People really believe that, you know, someone can be out to get them or all people are like this because one person was like this. And people really are walking around with that belief and hurting other people in the making because they didn't heal. So make sure, so fam, you are not, you are healing, okay? And make sure that you don't think everyone is out to get you. Trust me, I understand. There was a point where I just, I just thought, everyone. And that's what, that's what unhealed pain would do for you. You'll be sitting around just, just, just worried, scared, feared. And it's, it's, it's all in your head. All right, so fam? So, that's why I always tell y'all so fam, book you a session. Even if you don't book you a session with me, even though you should, why not? You'll be great. But get you a session with a therapist. Get you a session somewhere and, and speak these things out. All right? And have these conversations. Ooh, ah, I got a rock in my shoe. Hold on so fam. Shoot. Ah, that's a 
a big one. Oh, shit. Shoot. Shoot. You heard me. Shoot. <laughs> the water spilling. My shoes spilling. Let's take a moment of silence. Yeah, I know I wasn't. That's why I'm like, I know I hear these bees. So from at the top of this cactus, you can see it. There are flowers. And there are tons of bees on top of them. Now, my hearing is, I, I don't know what's 2020 hearing. I know 2020 vision. <laughs> I have 2020 hearing. So I can hear the bees clearly up there. And that's why I was hearing them. That's why I'm like, Sophie, do y'all hear that? I mean, some of them are swarming down, but overall, I can really hear them really well. But I love the sound of nature. Just hiking out. I don't I don't even bring my headphones out anymore because I just enjoy whew, even the bee sounds. All right, so fam. Whew. All righty. That was so beautiful. So fam, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I hope this message bring you some clarity. I hope this message bring you some peace, some love. Hey. All right, I'm trying to see where the light in that. That's a good spot. Yes, bring you some peace, some love. There's a free class available on AmeliaOnlineAcademy.com. Check out Amelia Online Academy. There's also a free guide available for you to see where it is in your life that you may need a little healing. Hey. And if you ever want to book a session with me, so fam, my details are always below. All right, get you a session. One session will execute you, push you up into a place that you didn't even know exists. So face those fears, take that time, have those conversations, and go where it is that, you, that, you, that your spirit really wants to be and really thrive. All right, so fam, Amelia Adir here. As you can see, so fam, I love you. I appreciate you. And day 17, hiking hill. Hey, day 17, we here. And day 18 coming soon. So you already know, I'm going to see you at the next win. Bye for now.